Welcome back guys to Dave's 18 holes at golf. At home golf club, he's currently two under his handicap. He's done a great job in the last two holes. A birdie on stroke index one. Again, which I think was all me. And again, a, a great par on the last, which he would have got a shot on. Which again, I think was all me. But Dave's taking part anyway. Right, back to this. So, stroke index four here. 387 yards off the yellows. Pretty straightforward hole. But it looks like it all slopes slope from the left, left to right. right. So we see that we've got a pole as a marker on there. So Dave needs to use the tee again to his advantage. We want Dave to be favouring the left half here. So he can aim further up the left and then just let it use the contours naturally. So again, for any of you who do hit a fade, this is going to encourage you. It looks The hole looks a lot wider. We're aiming left. We're aiming away from these trees here on the right. We can just be positive. So Dave's going to set his club, build his stance a little bit further left, Dave. Very good. Oh, it's a little bit of a toey one. Stayed up the left hand side. Should be okay ish. Should, should be okay ish. Might have some work to do. Dave's there mulling it over but again Dave just fell forwards a little bit on that one we shuffled around but maybe didn't feel comfortable over it did you Dave? No, my bad shot is often toey which is why I sometimes think that maybe it should be a driver shaft not a three wood shaft I don't know. Yeah so Dave's still using the three wood shaft so we are going to look at that coming into the winter so we are going to test him out with all the latest drivers but that's one of those shots where if you're not comfortable over it if we've moved your stance and you may want to reset, step away, and start again. Yeah, I should have done that. I don't think that my handicap stroke and our amateurs are bright enough to do that. We, we stood over the ball and we're just thinking we need to get on with it. We feel really bad about I'm not happy with my stance, etc. And we won't walk away and, and have a think about it and redo it. We just try and hit it. And it invariably goes wrong because we haven't got the right mindset. Yeah, so Dave's saying there is, you know, mid-handicappers often don't step away. They just get over and go, oh, I'll just hit it, it should be all right. Whereas he needs to think about it sometimes. Step out, reset, pick your alignment because it's silly shots potentially like that into there that cost us. We don't know if it has come out yet. We will have a look. There is a squirrel there. Luckily, Dave's not killed it. A fantastic golf hole here at golf. Again, great condition. Thank you to the guys for getting us out here. Dave is a die-hard member. But it's the first time I've been here and it's in fantastic condition for this time of the year. 109 years old, see? The man knows his facts. Alistair McKenzie design. Alistair McKenzie design. Used to be the other way around. The nine that we're playing now used to be the back nine. So the nines have switched around, not Dave's just hitting us with multiple facts here. It has changed oh, around. Dave can see his ball. I can. And it is fine. So has come around, has got a little bit lucky on that one, but we need to ride a little bit of luck sometimes in the game of golf. A downhill shot here now, so the opposite of what we've just had on the par three. So Dave needs to be thinking now, once he's got a number, what club, where is our start line? The... Um ditch on the right hand side. Dave's thinking negative again about the ditch on the right hand side of the green. Look, I mean, look at the lie. It's the lies. It's an uphill lie, a little bit ball below the feet. Dave needs to stop being negative. After the last two puts he should be riding the way. 175 to the pin. 175 to the pin, playing downhill so we're probably looking at a 165 shot because the pin is right at the front of the green. Which is exactly the same distance which is, as you worked out on the last which hole. Is, which is exactly the same as the last hole. So Dave's going to go with his trusty five hybrid again. I am indeed. He's going to give this probably just a, a normal swing. We're going to aim left of the green here. So we're going to aim at the bridge that I can see just behind. Left edge of the green. If it fades back, which it should do off this lie, it'll be fading back towards the flag. And even if it does overfade slightly, that's going to be the right-hand side of the green. And that's where... Again guys, think about your start line, think about what shot shape you hit and what the lie is going to do. And that for Dave, 
has stayed dead straight. It's trickling down. And it's just in the semi rough on the left, Chris. Just in the semi rough on the left, but just in front of the green. So a good shot stayed straight. So Dave was fearing the ditch on the right, but just committing to that shot on that start line is building Dave's confidence. Right, so assessing the light mud behind. So it is that time of the year now where we where we're gonna get a mud lie. Dave's hoping it is not dog excrement. So a tough shot here, but again, Dave's just hit it dead straight off that lie. You can see up there, fantastic golf hole. So, would have been the right club. so Dave says, would have been the right club, which it would have. Again, nearly pin high. The rough just slowed it down a little bit. But we need to, a little bit of loft here because we need to get over this rough just here. Well, all I've got is me 56. That's the highest because obviously I daren't bring. And, and Dave's only got his 56 because he was too scared to bring his 60. So a very, we're going to play this like a putty motion, Dave. So we're going to be a little bit, cut, a little bit closer, a little bit taller, grip down the shaft. We're trying to land it just here on the fringe and then let it release. So, so feet club width apart, exactly. Left foot turned out and then just an extended putty motion just clipping it off the top it's going to land on the fringe soft greens again now coming into the winter so we need to be positive positive. and that's played exceptionally well so a lot of people there would go to a 52 try and bump and run it but it won't commit to it it might snag in the rough Dave's trying to sign me up every week, but you know, at this rate, I might get my own clubs back out. But chipped up to a foot. So again, not an easy golf hole there. Dave didn't hit a good drive at all. Unfortunately, his worst of the day, but he's gonna come out of here with a relatively easy par. And that's what we're trying to do here today, guys. And on this series is show playing smart, playing the clubs. Again, for a lot of guys, thinking mainly about your start lines and where to miss not just hitting up flags and then going into the dreaded ditches that Dave keeps going on about here at Garfa. So that's another hole down, guys, and we will see you next week for hole number seven. seven.